So the iPhone 10 comes this Friday, and even though Apple makes it with their marketing and stuff, they make the iPhone 10 look perfect. You know, it's perfect in the videos and the commercials and the website. It's just not perfect. And I just wanted to let you guys know of some stuff of the iPhone 10 that it actually sucks. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so I found seven things that I just don't like about the iPhone X 10. iPhone X 10, X 10, 10 X. Gosh! Anyways, let's calm down a bit and let's start it off with Face ID. So the Verge just uploaded their iPhone 10 first hands on look, first hands review type of iPhone 10 video. I'll link it down below, but they experienced that when direct sunlight, so whenever you're outside in the street, for example, and you try to unlock your phone, it simply doesn't work. So for example, let's say you're trying to unlock, you're trying to access your phone while you're in the street, you're looking at your phone, and the Face ID will simply not unlock your phone because the camera is actually looking at the sunlight and it just won't work. In the nighttime, the bird said that it was perfect, so I guess, I guess that's good. Apple Pay. Apple Pay is a problem that I think it's just kind of awkward. So Apple Pay, paying with Apple Pay with your iPhone 7, iPhone 8, whatever your iPhone you have. So for example, let's say you're paying with your iPhone. Paying with Apple Pay is kind of weird, unless you're in Spain, because not a lot of people use Apple Pay. So you're kind of the weird one using Apple Pay. I'm fine using Apple Pay, to be honest, it's not that awkward. But I have found a couple people that say yes, um, it's kind of awkward for me paying with Apple Pay. So I personally don't find it awkward paying with Apple Pay on an iPhone or an Apple Watch. I think it's cool. What I do think it's kind of awkward is to pay with Apple Pay with Face ID. So when you're in Starbucks, for example, you're gonna hold your phone like this and then pay. I just think that's kind of awkward. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know in the comments if it's just me. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that's awkward. Expensive. Yes, the iPhone 10 is very, very expensive. Um, if you have pre-ordered the iPhone 10, you guys know what I'm talking about because right now my bank account is minus 200. Jokes aside, what you're paying for for the iPhone 10 is basically the display. And there's some other companies that sell their phone for a much more affordable price. So yeah, I know you guys know it's expensive, but I just wanted to lay it out there in this video. Next one. So the next one, wireless charging. It's awesome. Wireless charging is awesome. You unbox the iPhone. There's no wireless charging. There's no wireless charging pad. You have to buy that separately. Now the iPhone 10 is already really expensive by itself, but of course you have to buy wireless charging in order to have wireless charging. So you have to buy a wireless charging pad. Now fast charging on the other side. It's available on the iPhone 10, but you have to buy an adapter for that. You have to buy another cable for that. So, we've got wireless charging and fast charging. They're all really cool, but you have to buy those separately. And for me, that kind of sucks. So last one, but definitely not least, the notch. The notch on the iPhone 10 is pretty, pretty obvious. I found some serious, better, much better options for that notch. They could have just put it in the top instead of just having a huge thing. To be honest, I think I'm gonna get used to it, but just for now, it just looks just pretty bad. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Now, don't get me wrong, because I'm really excited to get my hands on my iPhone 10 this Friday. I will be going to pick it up on the Apple Store. I'm going there at 7 o'clock, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a vlog about it, so stay tuned for that video. Make sure to have the notifications on for my channel to be the first one to watch that vlog. So yeah, as I said, there's much more good things about the iPhone 10 than just bad things about it. But I just wanted to lay it out there. If you guys are considering into getting the iPhone 10, just just make sure that you know that these things are real. Things such as Face ID, outdoors, it's just not perfect yet. So I just wanted to lay that out for you guys. You guys have probably noticed this right here is my new setup for my filming videos. I actually really like it. It's pretty white. Um, I actually just have a table on my computer. I'm going to read my notes from here. This is my new setup. So let me know in the comments if you guys are going to miss my old setup or if you guys like this one. Now one thing that I really have to fix is this. I have a really, really squeaky chair, so I really have to change that. So yeah guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one.